Hey folks, uh, I'm gonna give a really, really fast lightning talk just for shits and giggles here. Woo. Uh, so my name is Harry Schwartz. I'm a software engineer at a company called ThoughtBot. Uh, I do Emacs NYC in New York, or used to, but uh, yeah, whatever. I'll deal with that later in my real talk. Um, <laughs> and I wrote a little tiny mode called Engine Mode. So I don't know about you, but I spend most of my time when I'm programming looking up documentation and trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Uh, it's usually kind of a pain. In Emacs, it's really, really great because it's all integrated in my editor, and that's just wonderful. And no other language has anything like that that I'm aware of, and I miss it. Um, the closest I could find was creating a lot of keyword searches in my browser. So y'all know keyword <coughs> searches in browsers? Firefox has them, Chrome has them. The notion is that if you go into your address bar and you type a couple characters and then type some search term, uh, if you've saved a search uh, to be associated with those letters, it'll, the browser will expand out that query into a real URL and then look that up, uh, which is super useful. So if you're in a browser, try right-clicking in, uh, in a text field, and it'll say, create a keyword search in that menu, and you can, and it's super cool. Uh, but, you know, this is Emacs. Who wants to ever leave? Why would we do that? So I created this tool called Engine Mode, and that lets you define these sorts of searches inside of Emacs. And it also lets you search. Uh, you can open those searches in either a real browser. Uh, that's hurtful. A, uh, <laughs> a GUI browser, or uh, something like EWW, or uh, W3M, or whatever you're into. Um, it's pretty simple. So. You, there's a macro called Def Engine. Uh, this is way too tiny for anyone to read here, isn't it? Uh, control plus. Uh, there we go. Yes. Apparently, yes. Cool. Uh, so you can find an engine, uh, give it a name. So this is for if I wanted to search GitHub or something. Uh, then you supply it with a search string, which has this little percent %s in it. The percent %s is the part that will be replaced with your search query. Um, once you've uh, created that engine, there will be a function called engine slash search github that will exist. You can also, if you want to, map it to a certain key binding. Inside of any buffer, then, once you have the engine mode, mode active, uh, you can select some text, hit that key binding, and uh, the browser will pop open with that expanded search there. So that's kind of cool and useful, uh, if you're into that kind of thing. It's a, one of those little things where I spent 20 hours trying to save myself 15 seconds per year. But, uh, you know, we're at an Emacs conference, so clearly that kind of thing flies. <laughs> um, anyway, it's got some docs. I gave a talk about it at uh, Emacs NYC. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. So if that's the kind of ridiculous micro-optimization that deals to you, you might enjoy it. Cool. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, and um, Harry. Uh, I don't know how to say this person's name. How shall Modi cool. loves Emacs, uh, loves engine mode. Oh, awesome. So cool. you do have fans. Thank you. Um, 